Join me as I dive into the world of prehistoric giants to find out if there was a monster bigger than the T-Rex. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is an iconic figure, revered in popular culture and paleontology alike, a behemoth of the ancient world. Its name synonymous with fear and awe, but despite its towering reputation, is it really the largest predator to have ever existed? For a long time, the T-Rex has been considered the king of the dinosaurs, a monster of a creature that strikes fear into the hearts of even the most seasoned paleontologists. It's a reputation that's been cemented in the public consciousness through countless films, books, and documentaries. But is it possible that we've been blinded by the T-Rex's fame? and that there were in fact other dinosaurs that dwarfed it in size. When we think of giant predators, the T-Rex is always the first one that comes to mind. But what about the others? The Spinosaurs, the Giganotosaurs, the Argentinosaurus? Were they just smaller cousins of the T-Rex, or did they have their own claim to fame as the largest of them all? The challenge of discovering if there were indeed larger species is a tantalizing one, and it's an investigation that takes us deep into the heart of paleontology. In the world of dinosaur research, there's always been a certain level of rivalry between the different camps, each with their own pet theory about the largest dinosaur of them all. But one thing's for sure, the T-Rex isn't the only contender for the title. Take Spinosaurus, for example, a sailback carnivore with a reputation for being one of the most bizarre-looking dinosaurs out there. Estimates put its length at around 59 feet, with some scientists even suggesting that it could reach lengths of up to 70 feet or more. That's a whole lot of teeth and claws, and it's a size that would give even the T-Rex a run for its money thin there's Argentinosaurus, a long-necked, plant-eating giant that's often cited as the largest land animal to have ever lived. Its estimated weight is a staggering 80 tons, making it a veritable giant of the ancient world. But was it a predator, or simply a gentle giant grazing on the lush vegetation of the Mesozoic era? Or what about Giganotosaurus, a rival of the T-Rex from the southern hemisphere? Its name means giant southern lizard, and with lengths of up to 48 feet, it was certainly no pushover. But how does it compare to the T-Rex in terms of size and ferocity? The debate rages on, with some scientists arguing that it was actually larger than the T-Rex. Recently, a series of discoveries has shed new light on the subject, suggesting that there may have been an even larger predator lurking in the shadows. Fossil records have revealed a dinosaur so massive that it makes the T-Rex look like a mere mortal. But what about the evidence? Is it compelling enough to topple the T-Rex from its perch as the largest predator of them all? One of the most intriguing pieces of evidence comes from a site in Argentina, where a team of paleontologists uncovered a series of massive vertebrae that would have belonged to a dinosaur of truly colossal proportions. The vertebrae themselves are over 5 feet tall, suggesting an animal that would have stood at least 100 feet tall, with a weight of several hundred tons. That's a size that would have dwarfed even the Argentinosaurus, and would have made the T-Rex look like a mere snack. Another piece of evidence comes from a cache of fossils found in the Badlands of Montana, which suggests that a giant predator was roaming the area during the late Cretaceous period. The fossils themselves are fragmentary, but they paint a picture of an animal that was truly enormous, with teeth as long as a human arm and a skull that would have been the size of a small car. As we delve deeper into the world of giant dinosaurs, it becomes clear that the truth is far more complicated than we ever could have imagined. The T-Rex may have been an apex predator, but it was by no means the largest dinosaur of them all. In fact, the evidence suggests that there may have been a whole host of giants lurking in the shadows, waiting to be discovered. So what does it all mean? The search for the largest dinosaur of them all is a fascinating one, full of twists and turns and tantalizing clues. But at the heart of it all is a sense of wonder, a sense of awe at the sheer scale of these prehistoric giants. They may be extinct, but their legacy lives on, inspiring us to explore, to discover, and to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. So, what do you think? Which dinosaur do you think was the largest of them all? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other video on dinosaurs. The link is in the description box below. Thanks for watching.